Hey guys, I know, you know I was supposed to put this video up last month, but just some things came up with work. I kind of got injured, so kind of delayed in process, which is part of the reason why some movie reviews haven't gone up. So October is kind of like a, a whack month for me. But um, I promise I'll put up episode 6 within a week or so from this video. So just wait for it. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, thank you for joining the quest again today. I am your host Marquise Underwood, and guess what today is? Today is a Star Wars review. So, you know, every month I do a Star Wars review. Like I said before, I couldn't do one last month. This one's episode five, The Empire Strikes Back, which is what a lot of people believe to be the best Star Wars movie ever. Personally, I do think it's better than episode four, but I think I just prefer episode four over this one. But this one, no doubt, is definitely the best one. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. I would say that this movie probably took the elements of episode four and just capitalized and made it way better. The acting is better. The character arcs are a lot deeper. Um, you see a lot of connections between like Han Solo and Princess Leia that were there in the first one, but they weren't really fleshed out until you see this one. We get more in depth with Luke and his training, you know, versus, you know, little 10 minute scene with Obi-Wan. He's kind of having like a 20, 30 minute section with him and Yoda in this one. And we get more with Darth Vader and Evil Empire. In fact, Darth Vader has his own theme song, which he didn't have in episode four. So that's really cool. So basically the movie's about Vader trying to find Luke and also trying to find the rebel base, which helped uh, destroy the Death Star in the first movie. Nothing positive really happens in this movie. The movie's titled, The Empire Strikes Back. So basically, the Empire, they just win in everything. They capture Luke and Han at Cloud City. You know, Luke has a showdown with Vader. Han gets frozen in this like ice carbonite, I believe is what they call it. This movie also introduces some fan favorites in the franchise. We have people like Boba Fett, which is a bounty hunter, was called upon by uh, Vader, but he's a fan favorite. He's only in this one in, in the beginning of uh, episode six, but he's still a fan favorite just because of his role and his charisma and how he carries himself. It's just, you want to be him because he's just a badass. We also have Lando Calrissian, who is also like a smooth talker. He can pretty much get his way out of any situation just with his words and it's just a lot of things. His charisma really helped people gravitate towards him. And we also meet Yoda, who is, the wise one. He's like the Obi-Wan in this one, but a lot wiser. He has a lot of elements and a lot of quotables. You know, some of my favorite quotes are stuff like, do or do not, there is no try. Just simple stuff like that, but it's really deep and you can really apply it to your life. It's, you was Luke when he said that. So it just really helps you just to relate to everybody. Now I think the end fight scene between Vader and Luke is probably the most meaningful in the whole series. Um, Vader has been looking for this guy because he destroyed his Death Star in episode four. And uh, Vader, previously, we know that Luke and his f and Vader kind of had some relation. And in this one, Vader does the infamous, I am your father, and Luke finds out, and we all find out, even though it's kind of hinted at in the beginning of the movie. But it's just the most meaningful just because of that simply. As father and son, Vader knows it, Luke doesn't, he finds out, and it kind of helps to lead into the next episode, in my opinion. The chemistry behind the chemistry between Han and Princess Leia also evolved on this one. Uh, just like for instance, when Han Solo is being frozen in the carbonite, you know, Princess Leia finally admits that she loves him, and Han is just like, "I know," which is kind of different from Han because Han is kind of known as a badass and kind of doesn't really admit to feelings and stuff like that. So for him to say that, it kind of shows character growth in that sense. But like I said before, this is probably the best Star Wars movie in the whole franchise. Um, this movie, of course, gets an A+, plus, a 5 out of 5. This is definitely one for you to watch. This is arguably on like the top 100 greatest movies of all time. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, good acting, the lightsaber duels, definitely meaningful. Um, it's true to the title. Everything that happens pertains to it, so I like that. It has a lot more character arcs and growth than from the first one, so it kind of makes everything more intense in that sense. And um, we get Yoda, some wise words, and it's just, it's just good to watch, man. So, have you seen Star Wars Empire Strikes Back? If you have, comment below, and I want to know, what's the best scene in Empire Strikes Back? If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I want you to join the quest. <laughs>